A killer was loose in New York City, but she had no idea she was killing anyone. From 1900 to 1915, typhoid fever swept through wealthy homes in New York, an estimated 50 deaths. Strange thing, typhoid usually hit poor neighborhoods with bad sanitation, not mansions with clean water. Investigators tested pipes, faucets, toilets, all negative. So, who was the silent killer? George Soper, a sanitation engineer turned medical detective, traced every outbreak and found a suspect, a cook named Mary Mallon. Mary was healthy, never sick a day in her life. But everywhere she worked, two weeks later, families fell ill. Back then, nobody knew a healthy person could spread disease. Mary didn't believe it either. Cooking was her only way to survive, the one job that kept her out of poverty. In 1907, Soper confronted her. She refused to stop cooking. Authorities detained her and tested her against her will. The culprit? Her gallbladder was full of typhoid bacteria. Mary Mallon became the first known asymptomatic carrier in U.S. history. Newspapers called her Typhoid Mary. In 